Assalamualaikum. Hope you are going well. Uh, there are a couple of students who are coming to me to study angle and circle properties. Padne. So, as angle and circle properties is a, a detailed topic. So, uh, I have divided it to around 7 to 8 properties. And I will make around 3 to 4 videos. And in each video, I will be discussing around 3 to 4, uh, three to four properties. Okay. So, let's formally start with today's session. You have to talk basic terminologies ki baat kar lete in a uh, circle. A circle, in a circle, a line that starts from a center and that connects from center to any of the point along the circumference, that line is called as radius line. A line that starts from one point of a circumference and connected to the other and also passing through the center this line is called as diameter first of all we are only discussing with what are the terminologies and what are the name of the lines that we used in circle so that line is a diameter line normally you have junior classes say basic things are studied i am just going through it okay a line that start from one end of a circumference connected to the other but not passing through a center is called as chord it's called as chord. Diameter is actually a special type of chord. All of the lines that start from one end of a circumference, like this one, and connected to the other, are called as chord. Diameter is a special type of chord. Secondly, a line that does just passing in such a way that it only touches a curve at a single point, that line is called as tangent line that is this one it only touching a curve at the following point so that line that only touches a curve at a single point is called as tangent line it's called as tangent line the point at which it just touches the circle that point is called as point of tangency this point is called as point of ten gen C. Okay. So these are all the lines, but we name them by a different name as per the condition. Okay. So let's formally start with the property number one. According to property number one, according to property number one, when end point of the chords are connected to the center of the circle, then that always results in the formation of isosceles triangle. It simply means that that is the center of the circle that I'm marking with the red one. This line is a diameter line. So sorry, this line is a chord. As per the property, we have discussed when the end point of chords are connected to the center of the circle, then all then this always results in the formation of isosceles triangle. Why isosceles? Because these two lines are a radius line. Yes or no? If these two lines are a radius line, so definitely a triangle having two sides equal is a isosceles triangle. These two angles are equal in length. As you have discussed about isosceles triangle, in isosceles triangle, two lines are equal. For example, I have drawn a separate isosceles triangle. These two lines are equal. The sides that are equal in length, the angle opposite is M are also equal. If these two sides are equal, then the angle opposite will be the angle of these These two. So definitely these two angles are equal. This is X, so this will also be X. That's what property number one says. Moving to our property number two. According to property number two, when you connect end point of a diameter line, to any of the point on the circumference that results in the formation of right angle. Right angle triangle, the angle opposite to diameter line is always of 90 degree. What it simply means that that's a circle, that's a center. That's are the end point of a diameter line. You can take any of the point along the circumference. For example, I have selected a point here. According to the property, if you connect and point of diameter to any of the point on the circumference as I've connected this to the end point of the diameter and this to the end point of the diameter. And that was the point that I had 
selected so that always results in the formation of right angle triangle the right angle is always opposite to the diameter line as this is a diameter line na so diameter line ke opposite banne wala angle right angle matlab 90 degree angle hoga again isi property ko zara dusre figure mein samajhte hain that's a diameter line that is like this one you take any of the point on the circumference that would be any of the point for example in this case i have selected a point here you can take any point on the circumference if you connect end point of the diameters to any of the point along the circumference then it always results in the formation of right angle triangle right angle is always opposite to diameter line diameter line ke opposite banne wala ye angle aapke paas 90 degree hoga okay let's draw the same into third circle according to the condition i have selected for example point here if i connected the point to the end points of the diameter line then it always results in the formation of right angle that results in the formation of right angle triangle this must be 90 for example if you consider a point here and connect it to the end points of the diameter line so obviously this is also be 90 yes or no a part of any of the point on the circumference agar hum usko end point of diameter line se connect karenge that are the end point of the diameter line this is the end point of the diameter line so that always results in the formation of right angle triangle okay let's move towards property number 3 property number 3 most of the questions ke andar use ho rahi hoti hai and according to this property first of all a property ko read kar lete hain when two of the chords are connected in such a way पहले मैं रीड भी करता रहता हूँ इस कंडीशन को ड्रॉ भी करता रहता हूँ व्हेन टू ऑफ द कॉर्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सच अ वे दैट देयर अदर एंड पॉइंट्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल टू कॉर्ड्स कनेक्टेड है इट मींस लेट अज्यूम दैट्स अ कॉर्ड नंबर 1 बिकॉज़ ही सेंटर से पास नहीं हो रही दैट्स योर कॉर्ड नंबर 2 दीस टू कॉर्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड एंड देयर अदर एंड पॉइंट आर कनेक्टेड टू द सेंटर दिस वुड बी लाइक दिस नाउ सो टू कॉर्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड टू ईच अदर एंड अदर एंड पॉइंट्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द सेंटर so according to the property then angle form at center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords according to this one aapke paas center mein banne wala angle hamesha twice hoga joining point of chords se banne wale angle ke for example if you consider this angle as x so this would be 2x yes or no property accordingly hai na ki when two of the chords are connected in such a way that other end points are connected to the center तो सेंटर पे बनने वाला एंगल हमेशा ट्वाइस होगा ज्वाइनिंग पॉइंट ऑफ कॉर्ड से बनने वाले एंगल के लेट्स डिस्कस इट अगेन ऑन टू अदर वन अकॉर्डिंग टू कंडीशन टू ऑफ द कॉर्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सच अ वे दैट्स योर कॉर्ड नंबर वन दैट्स योर कॉर्ड नंबर टू दीज टू आर कॉर्ड्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सच अ वे डेट देर अदर एंड पॉइंट आर कनेक्टेड टू द सेंटर इफ दीज आर कनेक्टेड टू द सेंटर So according to the condition, angle form at the center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. If this is x, this would be two x. इसी हम condition को दोबारा draw करते हैं into figure number three. Two chords connected in such a way. Other end points are connected to the center. Angle form at the center. Must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. अगर joining points of the chord से बनने वाला angle आप लोगों के पास x है, that is this one. So definitely आपके पास center पे बनने वाला angle twice of x होगा. Yes or no? इसी condition को अभी हम दूसरी figures के अंदर draw करते हैं. दूसरे और circles में draw करते हैं because that is actually a detail. moving forward okay moving forward again we were discussing the same property when two of the chords are connected in such a way ab thoda sa different karo zara dekhega two of the chords are connected in such a way for example this one here this one here other end point are connected to the center other end points are connected to the center Angle form at the center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. थोड़ा और different करना. That's chord number one. 
that's chord number two. Two of the chords are connected in such a way that their other end points are connected to the center. These are the end points. End point number one, end point number two. These end points are connected to the center. If you connect these end point to the center, so this would be like this. Yes or no? This point would be like this. According to the condition, angle form at the center must be twice. This is the angle that is formed at the center. This is the angle form at the joining point of the chords. If this is X, so this would be twice of X. According to property, you know, get two of the chords join karengi, the angle form at the center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. Again, let's go draw karte. That is chord number one. That's your chord number two. Two of the chords are connected. Two of the chords are connected in such a way that their other end points are connected to the center. So angle form at the center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. Ye center pe banne wala angle hoga. Ye aapke paas joining point of the chords se banne wala angle hoga. Joining points of the chords se banne wala angle hamesha aapke paas jo bhi hoga center pe banne wala angle uska twice hoga. Yes or no? That is your center point. This point is your center point. Yes or no? Getting my point. Is he finally a larger circle? Draw kar lete. For example, that's your circle. Okay. That's your center. That's a chord. Chord number one, chord number two. Two of the chords are connected. Their other end points are connected to the center. In this case, I am just adding one more condition into the following figure. If you divide it like this, in such a way, this line, this line is a radius line. This angle for assume is X. So this will also be X according to property number one because triangle is isosceles. Yes or no? If you consider about the second part, second triangle, let me name this triangle. Like if I name it like this point is A, this point is B, this point is C and the center I would assume as O. If I talk about triangle OAB and talking about Angle at B, if I assume that angle to be Y, so obviously angle jo A pe form ho ra ho ga on triangle O, A, B, wo bhi Y hi ho ga because wo bhi ek isosceles triangle ho ga. If you talk about this complete angle that I'm going to mark with a different color, this complete angle, this complete angle, this angle would be X plus Y. So obviously, so obviously, This complete angle at the joint at the center would be twice of x plus y because as per the property, when two of the chords are connected in such a way, then angle form at the center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. Jo many sari ki sari figures draw kari hai, all of the following are the extended of property number three. Aapke paas in me se kisi bhi tana ka shape draw hua wa ho. In all of the case, angle form at the center must be twice the angle form at the joining point of the chords. So I think video kaafi stretch ho gai hai. So I'm just ending it here and start with property number four on the other video. Thank you. Hopefully that would be helpful for you.